more than a week without any news. I almost lost my mind. I need you. Let's go. My goodness. Okay, so we are now at the part where we gotta do the one thing that last time got stuck doing. Uh, which is over here, I do believe. Where we gotta stick the thing in the hole. Thus, I have everything prepared. No, I think this is it. So, let us begin. How do I get her up here? I just turn this on. She does it. Doing it? What are you doing? What are you doing, Leah? Get up. My goodness. It's like she's wearing coveralls over a diving suit. It's very strange. And you know, I was really hoping once she got her drugs, she would climb these ladder stairs a hell of a lot faster. No, it's still just as slow. Very slow, Leah. Make me do everything. Just what I thought. Let's see. Lloyd gave me a key. Oh, I could see her in this camera. I forgot. What's An the... icon should have appeared on your screen. The crane can be controlled from the command system. One bathyscaph left. Better be careful with it. Now, to get it into the water. Yes. Now, the question is, where is it? So, what happens? Help me work this crane. I've never done this before. Question is, what bathy scaff are we pi are we are we picking up this one? Is this the one we're picking up? Okay. All right. So, what does this do? That brings that down. So what does this do? Brings that down. Okay. Looks like we're getting close. Oh, yes. That moves that forward. Nope, too far. What does this do? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nope. I mean, we have to pick up this one, right? All right. We finally got it there. Careful. You're going to damage oh the body scaff. Finally. Okay. Uh so now we need to lift it up. Move this back. Hang on, hang on. We got this. We got this. Okay, it's a swinging. Slowly. Okay, you know what? Good enough. Stick it in. Not that way. Careful. Darn. What? No one in. Oh man. If you break the bathy scaff, we're done. It's not like there's a spare. Careful. You're going to damage the bathy scaff. Well, I don't... I don't know what I'm doing. Not that way. Careful. Darn. Oh, man. Well, you know what, Leah? If you break the bathy scaff, we're done. 
It's not like there's Why a isn't this working? Why isn't this working? Huh? Huh? I got I got visual on this. Wait. Am I missing something? Is there is there something I'm missing? Oh, code. Uh is it this one? Okay. I uh completely forgot. Had to do that, so no wonder I was not having much success. Okay. Nope. Nope. Careful. You're going to damage the bathy scaff. Is this finally it? The bathyscaf is in position. Holy Hold shit. It. I never want to have to do that again. Now, Leah, where are you going? Where are you going, Leah? Don't get in there yet. We gotta save it first. Okay. We can leave the ship now. I'm going to flick the area service switch. Careful, flicking the switch. Ah, okay, well, finally, dear gods. Here I am. As you can see, the layout of the cameras is different here. Some are installed in the Bathyska, others are installed along the submerged canyon, which we must climb to find the entrance to the advanced base in the area called Tyriad Spine. Everything looks functional, what luck. This little submarine is really tough. Despite this, I need your help to drive it. Too many instruments, too many maneuvers. I'll never manage by myself. Are you available to help? Oh, am I available to help? I Thank think you. so. This is what I suggest. I'll take care of the onboard computer, assessing coordinates and the pressurization and security systems. You can handle the operation of the bathyscaphe and the operation of the bionic arm and lights. Is that okay with you? Don't worry, we're not leaving immediately. The canyon is known to be dangerous and full of snares. Our first job is to familiarize ourselves with this vehicle. That's our objective. I'll save it in a shared folder. Familiarize ourselves with the bathyscaphe. Afterwards, we'll have to open the entrance lock to the advanced base and find our way inside. Okay, so... Are you ready? Let's start by entering the bathyscaphe code. Ah, uh, okay. This is the one I thought it was. Good job. Now Linda Manchek's operation manual should show us the next steps. We need to follow those steps one by one. She was a bit stuck up, but she was very organized. Crap. Okay. Uh, first off, I am going to put that there. Yes. Let's take a look around. How about you open the manual if you don't know where to start? Yeah, I will get to that. Okay, so we've seen where the submersible is. Uh, apparently at some point in time, people put cameras up around here. I guess, good for them. A uh, lot of fish. Not much else to see. Oh, a lot of cameras over here, apparently. It's simple to enable an object. Click on the button in front of its name. Yeah, I get that. I'm just taking a look around, Leah. Oh, what is, what is all this? Okay, not much to see here. Just fish. How about you open the manual if you don't know where to start? Holy gods, Leah. Okay, fine. We got, we got stuff here. Hang on. A lost civilization. I think that's our goal. It looks very shaped like this little pod thing. Okay. Okay, nothing else around there. It's simple to enable an object. Click on the button My in front of its God. name. Okay, we gotta go no, we gotta go to files. Linda Manchek, nope. Where is she? Edwards. Uh not her. Her. How about you open the manual if you don't know where to start? talking about okay files personal files 
Operation manual. Okay. We need to... Step by step. Okay, start up main motor. Which is the... this? Main motor on. Power on the computer-based matching system. Connect V. Computer online. Start up the horizontal movement control mo motor. MG, the one that ends with one. Horizontal long travel motor on. And horizontal then two. Horizontal rotation engine on. And then three. Vertical long travel motor on. And one. Front lights on. Two. Ventral lights on. And three. Dorsal lights on. Okay. okay. The light ignition procedure is complete. Now we dive. Are you ready? Okay, so we have the buttons. Ready? Go dive. Oh my god, stop it, Leah. I'm trying to familiarize myself. Okay, so. So. Uh, seven. Forward. Two back. Rotate, rotate, enter. It's a simple vertical up, long down. travel movement. I swear Press to Press the page down control panel button. Let me remind you of the basic commands. Seven to rotate left. Eight to go forward. Nine to rotate right. Four for a left lateral movement. Six for a right lateral movement. Two to move backwards. Enter to deploy the arm and page up to go up. Make a note of these somewhere. Okay. I'm gonna close that. I don't think we need it. Alright, um, that seems to be forward. Yes. Congratulations, we're in free water. This large shadow over us is the hull of the super tanker. It reduces the effects of the currents, so it's the perfect location for training. I'll ask you now to move towards the big rock from where the bubbles are coming out. Can you see it? It's what? south of our position. Under the water, the cameras work the same as they did above water. You can choose them by clicking on the area map. Okay. Why am I not controlling Remember, it? To move forward, use the 8 button on the control panel. Good. Can you distinguish the field of small bubbles from the large ones? The bathy's calf has a bionic arm. I'd like you to reach the little bubbles with the end of the arm. We need to approach the rock slowly and deploy the arm at the right moment. Why am I doing this? Can you distinguish between the large and small bubbles? Okay, I think I'm... Goodness me, as long as the submarine can handle the shock. What am I doing? Um... So... There we go. What am I doing? Excellent maneuver. Now I'll let you wander freely around the hull to test the different commands. You should be comfortable with the submarine's control before undertaking the canyon. Let's do it. Alright, so this part's probably going to be incredibly boring. Well, uh, let's wait and see. Good. Okay. You can handle the bathy scaff now? Let's run a little test. At the hull's southwest tip, slightly before the mouth of the canyon, there's a natural archway that we call the Ring of the Titans. It's big enough for a submarine to go through, but the currents are strong and make navigation tricky. At any moment, the bathyscaph could be pushed against the rock face or out of the passageway. If you can manage to pass through the ring without a problem, you'll have earned your pilot's certification. Do you want to try? No. <laughs> No, I just want to get to the base. 
which I think is all the way down here. Apparently, there's two different ways to get there. There's the easy way, and then there's the hard way. I'm gonna try for the easy way. Where are you going? It's not time to go to the surface. We're using up air for nothing. Yeah, well, we're doing the easy way. I think. Oh! That's why... Uh, that's why it's the easy way, because you're essentially going outside the map. Okay. I get it. Let's get in there. Ah! Here we are. Whoa, whoa. Get in. Can't actually see. Is that it? Um, can't tell. Should literally be right. Right somewhere. Anyway, onward. We have to get down. I don't know. Is it just so far above? That's why I can't see. Ah, there. Yes. Just so far above it. Okay. Well, we did it. Took the easy way. Now we gotta figure out this part. Oh, oh, is that it? This whole time. I was like, uh... Here is the northwest hatch. Proceed with the maneuver. I don't know how to proceed with the maneuver. Do I just stick it in? Watch out! The canyon is narrow. Perfect. Good job. In a few moments, the security system will prompt you for a code. Enter it on the control panel. Crap, what's the code? Alright. I am looking forward to this. Yes, that's the right code. The hatch is unlocked. Now the others. The others? Oh gods, there was three codes. I am not liking this. Our, oh my god, you know what this, this, our, our craft, our ship's penis will be approaching the Lock's vagina. Do you feel that rocking? This is a dangerous area. I don't know why it was chosen for the eye keys. Hold on, there it is. What? Why? Why are we moving about? Just want to get it in. Oh, I wasn't actually pushing forward that whole time. Holy gods. Perfect. Good job. In a few moments, the security system will prompt you for a code. Enter it on the control panel. Damn it! Why are we constantly moving? Alright. Alright. This is this is frustrating. I want to tell you right now, this is frustrating as all hell. Especially when this code I can't see the keyboard. This 
want to get it in. No. Perfect. Good job. In a few oh, moments, eight. the security system will prompt you for a code. Enter no. it on the control panel. Damn it. Why did it only pick up that part of the code? I need X31. This is the most goddamn frustrating thing ever right now. Perfect. Good job. In a few moments, the security system will prompt you for a code. Perfect. Good job. In a few moments, the security system will prompt you for a code. Enter it on the control panel. Well, it certainly is not happening. Boy, is it ever perfect. Good job. In a few moments, the security system will prompt you for a code. It isn't. Enter it on the control <laughs> panel. Why? Why isn't it? Perfect. Good job. In a few moments, the security system will prompt um, you for a code. Enter it on the control panel. Did I not hit enter? This is... this is... probably the worst part of the game. I would like to say... Perfect. Good job. In a few moments, the Holy shit! System will prompt you it for a restarted. Code. Enter it on the perfect. Good job. In a few moments, the security system will prompt you for a code. Yes, that's oh. the right code. Check. Now onto the last entrance lock. Hopefully, it's not the same nonsense. The water temperature is rising. I think the third I key is located in a boiling area. If that's the case. We'll need to complete the maneuver in one shot. We what? can't risk waiting around in that heat. What do you mean, one shot? What? This is like... This code is... Ah. Ah. Especially... If it moves around? Because this code is all over the keyboard. Let me tell you. Perfect. Good job. Perfect. Good job. In a few oh. moments, the security system will prompt you for a code. Enter it. Yes. That's the right code. All the I keys are open. Now we need to reach the main entrance lock in the middle of the zone to access the advanced base. Let's roll. Oh my god, okay. Definitely gonna save it. Okay, I know I, I barely talked, but that required a great deal of concentration. And a lot of nonsense. A lot of nonsense. Okay, do we finally dock with this this area? I hope that's the case. Where where is okay there it is. Gotta make sure. As we descend into it. I think we're uh no, we're good. We're good. Thanks a million. Time to open the hatches, and then I can get out of this metallic prison cell. Look out. I'm disconnecting the area server. Okay. Well, this I guess... Place, I've seen it. I... Oh, no. Here we go again. Flashbacks. Coming swimming? The water's great. Later. I'm staying in the sun. I really miss it when I'm in the lab. You should take some time in the fresh air from time to time. It would do you well. 
That's forbidden. Zeitfeld would lose it if he learned I had left the ship. He won't know. Nobody will know. We are alone on this beach, you and I. Sure. Another flashback. 112. I don't understand. You're losing your mind, girl. You're losing your mind, girl. Yay, that part is done with. That was not fun. Did you fun. know this is the first time I've entered this place? Tanker personnel had very little contact with the advanced base. The researchers working for this department were supposed to keep their activities under wraps. It was very rare if one of us visited them or even left the subterranean base. I think many of them worked without seeing the light of day for months. I wonder if the advanced base suffered an attack like the super tanker did. Who knows? Maybe there are rescued personnel here. It would be such a relief to meet someone. Aha! There's the area service switch. I'm going to enable it so you can take over the area cameras. I was just gonna say, I All hope... done. hope that wasn't a it's bug. It's time to enter new objectives. Perfect. There's a terminal. The most important one is to go through the Tyriad doors. They shouldn't be too much farther. Okay, that's looking good. But first I should activate the freight elevator. I don't think there's any other base access point. Well, this is an elevator right here. Here we are. Now what? Get in the elevator, I suppose. Uh, let's take a look around. I'm on a freight elevator now, and this appears to be the car. Maybe it controls the skid platform. Let's try it and see. Um. What? Okay, so far so good. But I can't see the floor commands. We can access them from the security system. A window must have opened on your end. Can you confirm? Yes. Yes, I can. Yes, that's the only explanation. Let's go. Go where? I'm going to the next level down. Can you operate the freight elevator? All right, let's take her down, I suppose. How do I move Without this? your help, I'm stuck here. Okay, there we go. Um... Is this it? Well, this is a rather large area. Thanks. I don't know what I'd do without you. Um... I don't know where to find her. Like... Do we take her down one more? What is down here anyway? I think she's supposed to go all the way down. Maybe. Hang on, let's uh... When the cameras are like this, that's a broken window. What about this camera? No, oh, it's a stationary camera. Is that? I don't know, this is confusing. Oh, that's a body. We have a body. What is this one? Okay, that's a look at this. 
That's a look at this. Wait, where is she? It's down there. This whole thing is confusing. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think, I think now, I got a decent view of things. Maybe. All right, let's get her down. Yep, there she is. Well, this place is confusing, like... Thanks. How does she get up? Incredible. I've never seen anything like this. People talked about the advanced base, but this, it's beyond belief. The structures seem human, but the rest, I don't recognize them. Not even the lichen. Not even. This lichen is strange. It feels different than most. Could this be a neighboring world with different plants and different animals? If this were true. <gasps> what? There. Did you see? That shadow? Yes, yes, I'm sure it moved. No. Maybe it's a security robot. There were some in the advanced base. Your cameras will see it better than I can. If only the pedestal was better lit, can you help? Done? Can't see too much more. The electric generator must be tired. I'm not gonna get anywhere without any lights. So where do we go now? Can I not turn the lights on? Can't turn that light on. There's a river too. There, under the floor grids. And that lichen growing without light? A real mystery. Where Did are you? Did you hear that? The robot. I'm scared. Let's hide in these offices. Let's us let us hide? I don't I don't know how to tell you, Leah, but I I'm not hiding. I'm already hiding, actually. Phew. What a relief. My god, and here I had hoped that the advanced base has escaped the attacks. I stand corrected, alas. If you weren't there, I'd be worried to be the only Eden Project survivor. Oh, she's so comfortable in a room with a body. That's strange, Leah. Okay, let's focus on this. Okay, you know what? Let's just start turning on ev can't turn on every single light. There's certain lights apparently. My goodness. Okay. What about this, Leah? What about what about over here? Oh, that's that thing. Okay, what about hey, over the phone? I get it, it's you. This must have been someone with a delicate constitution. Maybe a woman? Who worked here? I can't remember. Lise Monfleur, the computer specialist? You found her body. A key, and there around her neck, a map. Very interesting. Sorry to disturb you, Lise, but I don't have much choice. I'll leave you now. I hope that the next world is more agreeable to you than this one had been. So, apparently that's the big opening this to- This is surely one of Lisa's parents. There's a familiarity there. Yes, it must be her mother. Oh look, there's a name written on it. Maddie. I'm sure it's there for a reason. Make a note, this could be useful later. Maddie. Yes, that will be quite helpful, right? 
Okay, so this big opening area over here. Obviously, it's like the Tyrian, Tyrian underworld. That's like a generator. Oh, there's like a whole generator thing going on. Oh. Hey, wait! Oh. What's happening to me? Uh, we. Ah! Ah! Let's get out of here. What? What is it? Oh, crap! Did you... did you see that? So these creatures are indeed quite real. What a scare. It swallowed the security robot in one bite. And my charm. What if it hadn't warned me? I'd be dead for sure. Therefore, there's a link between this charm and the creatures. Maybe they made it themselves. But then why do I have it? These questions are giving me a headache. Oh, there's the security robot. That was okay, it. Okay, stay strong. I must move on and reach the Tyriad doors. This map and key will surely help. Above all, we need to resolve the electrical power supply problem. Where is the control room? Let's change floors. We'll eventually find it. Well, that was a goddamn hydralisk. How do we change floors? Okay, I guess we're going up onto the second floor. Even though nothing happened. But let's let's do that. Turn off every camera. Since uh, that doesn't do us any good. But now, where is she? Where is she gonna be? This place is really confusing for me. Like, we found some kind of generator. The big question is. Lead the way. I, I I don't know, Leah. I don't know where to take you. Like, do you get off over here? No. How about over here? Okay, finally. Gain some progress. We got doors, we got hydralisks. The doors finally open. I thought I did open it. I'm updating the objectives. Oh god damn it. She really likes updating objectives. That is her big thing right there. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. We got going on with the door okay first off there we go I uh I want her to go around the outside no door this elevator should lead to the control station too bad it doesn't seem to work unless the map or the key All right, all right, all right, all right. Ah, okay. Victory. This is so confusing. Where is she going? Leah, you Finally, got. Finally, we're getting somewhere. Okay, we're going up. Oh, there's blood. Where are you going, Leah? Oh, oh, she's in here. Yes, okay. We're in luck. This is the control room. From here, we can control the electric generators. Turning the lights back on should be a breeze, but I'll need your help. How do you need my help? Oh, I have to tell you to go to it. All right. 
That's okay. So now how does this work? I should be able to connect the system to the intranet. Maybe like this? Amazing, it's working. These old technologies have certainly proven themselves. Have they? I'm very skeptical. Oh, no. I spoke too soon. Now what do we do? You gotta ah, update the objective. The, again. the auxiliary generators must have kicked in. I hope they'll hold. They don't look like they're in good shape. Sure you don't want to update the objective? I'm really not lucking out. This time there's no other way. We have to fix it. Lead me to the auxiliary generators. I'll try to figure out the source of the problem. But first, let me update the objectives. There you go. That's... That a girl. You update those objectives. You know what? She knows her strengths. She knows her strengths, and she's playing to her strengths. That's what she's doing. Okay, Leah. Where are we going? Are you going back to the elevator? Now... What? Oh my god, look at her eyes. Hellish glowing eyes. Okay, we're going down. So are we gonna go up and around? What's happening? Where are you going, Leah? I know, this door. This door makes me angry. Okay, um... Is this what's happening? Yes, that is what's happening. So, what is over here? Oh, that's a glowing thing. That wasn't there before. Well, holy crap. They got those glowing sign things from World of Warcraft. Um. Sure, Leah, go over here. Oh, there's, there's stairs. <laughs> of course there's stairs. That wasn't there before, but let's go do these stairs. Leah, are you going up the stairs? I can't... Alright. Oh. Get her up those stairs. We don't need this... camera anymore. damn confusing place. Oh, here. Here we are. Is that moving? Okay, she should... Yes, she is right there. Got ourselves... Nope. That doesn't do any good. So that... You know what? Let's get her... Let's get her over here. Into this room. That has a generator. And a wrench. It's a very obvious wrench. Leah, okay, there you are. Uh, examine this, Leah. I want it to automatically track, and I guess automatic tracking is its just not working anymore. That's okay. Got several cameras. She is in, unfortunately, no danger. That's okay. That is okay. Because eventually, we'll find the right thing for her to interact with. Oh, it's over here. Is 
this an elevator? No, not quite. Those stairs are not operational. Slowly but surely we will get her, I don't know, somewhere. There's bound to be something, right? I mean, how many objects in this room? How many light up objects? Okay, Leah, just, just, just go around. This, finally. Okay, never mind, not not the point. Not where she needs to be, apparently. Uh, let's turn this off. Let's turn that on. Nope, that is, uh, is still not useful. Ah, here we go. Turn that off, I guess. Uh-oh, that's not a good sign. What's happening with this motor? I don't know, Leah, I can't see. What camera? Okay. Let's turn that camera off. Let's turn this camera back on. Maybe eventually I... Oh, okay. There she is. Okay, Leah. Do your thing. Nope. What over here? Okay, but this side. You told me this motor's messed up. Can you tell me more, please? Well, maybe on this side. I don't think she can go around. Can you go all the way around, Leah? Or is that just completely blocked? No, oh, looks like she can get around. Okay, awesome. What about this? This anything? You're right. Your screen might give us more information. I get it. The gear system is jammed. Probably not enough oil. That's not so bad, but I'm not sure I have the tools to fix it. I should take care of the broken generator before putting this one back online. Does that mean she has to go back in here where there are tools? What are you doing? There's always a workshop or a toolkit near these kind of machines. We just need to find it. Oh gods, is this it? Yes, go that way. Even though I'm pretty sure it's in this room, but... Okay, well... Go all the way around, Leah. Slowly move yourself all the way around. I mean, some interesting things have happened in this part. We got we got the hydralisk shadows. Uh, we got this the the gate of light. Uh, this part, this part, little little bit not as interesting. I'll say it. It's like. There's so many things for her to interact with that are not really useful, apparently. Like, I get you gotta have the lights to, to get her to walk around and maybe the objects, too. But after a point, it just becomes a little tedious. This wrench? You think it will help us repair the generators? Why not? 
We've got nothing to lose by trying. Listen, Leah, I'm just clicking on everything, okay? Now, the question is, where are you gonna stick that wrench? Okay, I'm extremely skeptical of her ability to use that to repair things, but okay. So, uh, what do I... What do I, what do I do? Do I just... Nope. Get her to walk all the way around. For any particular discernible reason. She just drags that wrench. How is she going to use that wrench if she can't pick it up? Very curious about this fact. going to be astounding. You know what? It's going to be amazing. Um Yeah, sure. Okay, Leah, where are you? Go interact with that. Drag the wrench there. I hope, I hope she doesn't actually have to go all the way around. Maybe we should have her go back to where she interacted with this. Where, where, where are you going? If you're going to be there, go here. Okay, what about over here? Like, why is she... I don't understand the pathing. This looks ridiculous. Let's go check out the other generator. That's most important. Thea! What are you doing? You have two hands. Use them. Or do you need... Do you need the second one to keep your balance? To, like, counter... Balance the the wrench. What is going on? Why does she have to go all the way around? You know what? I just hit the arm. You know what? I bet you the payoff is going to be worth it. It's going to be amazing getting into those Tyriad tunnels, right? We still have... This, the pheromone analysis camera. Finally, I hope it isn't bugged. Carrying this wrench is exhausting. I hope it will be useful. So do I. How are you going to use it? Was there other tools she could have picked up? Damn it, she's in the way. Oh, it's, it's a big nut. <laughs> You just had to turn it. Yes, and here I thought I had no repair skills. Turns out I'm not so clumsy. Let's take care of the other generator now. Oh, is that the one over all the way over here? It's agonizing for my ears. It's so loud. Okay. <laughs> I thought the laser was annoying. This is annoying. This generator seems to work. It should restart without any problems. Impeccable. Let's see if everything is working well from the control room. Oh gods, where's the control room again? Leah, where's the control room? I have forgotten. Um. 
Oh, it's going to make sure I know that generator's there. Is the sound ever going to stop? Agonizing. Okay. Uh, hopefully, the further away she gets from it, yes. The further away she gets from it, thankfully, the quieter that generator gets. You can only imagine how, how horrible it must have been to, like, work here. Hearing that generator. You would need hazard pay just from being near that generator. How loud it is. Still, the lights, not all lights work. Is that a broom of some sort? Leah. They gave you nipples, Leah. Why'd they give you nipples? I'm wasting all my time with all this messing around, but I don't have much of a choice. She has to put something up to that every time. Okay, where's she going? We're we going back up. Back to the control room. I wonder if she can see. Nope. She can see that glowing door. Check it out. The ventilation just turned on. I'm not surprised that the air needs to be exchanged in a subterranean base. It's quite clear that those working here were cut off from the rest of the world. Okay, the generators are fixed. Nothing should stop us from opening the Tyriad doors. The big moment has arrived. In a few minutes, I'll be using these doors to enter a whole other world. A whole new world? I suppose world, that it won't be as easy say? as pressing one button. I'm going to enter a new objective. Find the operation manual for the Tyriad doors and use it. Ooh. There she goes. Updating the objective. Um, okay. I guess we gotta find the manual because they keep a written manual around. Uh, I'm also gonna guess we go back down. Where are you going? Yeah. Let's see. We should be able to open the doors from this console. What? My card. I don't have a card. Unless I use Lisa's card? Yes. Let's do the ventilation test. Okay, let's open the doors. Lincoln's password? What's this all about? I'm not sure we have it. Yeah, we have Lincoln. Who are you? Not seeing names. Nothing doing. Without the password, we're stuck. This is Leonard. This is Lincoln. Uh, T-E-O-1-3. Where's the field? Okay. T E O one three. T E zero one three? There we go. Our deal Lincoln has set up a little game to ease our tension. Looks like a puzzle of sorts. Maybe it's an image to put together? Weird that there's no model. We'll have to search through Lincoln's files, or maybe Lise Monfleur's files. In any case, I'll leave this to you. I'm not any good at these kind of games. 
God damn it. Select a projector and modify the size of the projected image or its orientation by using the scroll. Like what? Okay. Notes about computer system. No. So, how are you getting That's along? That's shared. I'm taking a look. How to relax? I don't have. So, Lise. Where was Lise? Which one was Lise? I'm sorry, I can't help you. That's Lise. Uh huh. Alright. I. Thought we had found Lise's. Uh, password before. Incorrect username Montflor. Okay. I guess she was one of the ones we logged into where I forgot to save it afterwards. So remember we logged into her thing and And I don't remember... Igor. He is not the kind of person to place himself before others or to overwhelm his adversaries. He has more of a self-effacing uh, tendency. This is what I like most about him. Igor knows he is one of the army's best computer specialists, but he would never admit this in front of a colleague. In fact, he would deny having anything to do with the ongoing work and would congratulate his colleagues for their hand in the project. Quite the contrary for Nancy Edwards, put a temper on this girl. No one is left indifferent after meeting her. Gladly, she is pretty and easily attracts attention. Gladly for her, because the disregard from any man brings her morale down. There is no better pair of opposites. How come then do I care for them both? That's right. Montflore and Edwards were hooking up. Ooh, I gotta finish that. That mapping out the base uh, love affairs. Opening the Tyriad's door. Um, to launch the Tyriad's door opening sequence, a magnetic card must be used to boot the console. Then the operation requires the approval of the security chief, and the system will prompt the user for this password. Then the more complex step to solve a life-size Tyriad door puzzle made of light and gases. Oh, that's what we saw. Five projectors each with a fragment of the original of the final image must be synchronized to recreate the fresco. The doors will open once the following image has been generated. Okay, I think we might need... And then we got her uh, sensitive files from that picture. Nancy Edwards code sensuality. Afterwards, we'll take a look. Um, she makes the me think of a movie star that leads such wonderful life and then die of overdoses. A uh, terrible secret is eating her up, though I don't know which. I submit the following to protect her from herself. She must be helped. I'm afraid she'll do something irreparable if not. The base has not recorded any suicides by any base personnel, despite many attempts which are not reported. Uh, I'm convinced that Nancy was one of those. She's not the kind to let herself be beaten down, but the drugs are limiting her defenses. She could lose her footing in a moment of weakness. <clears throat> Abuses of power by M. Lincoln, security unit chief. Yeah, I've been a computer specialist for 15 years now, and I've never met anyone so mean, brutal, and vindictive. He's the kind of man who would volunteer to torture enemies during combat. In fact, he probably drowned cats for fun during his childhood truly horrible man. From our first meeting, I knew he would make my life difficult. Alas, I was all too right. Not one day passes without being called into his office for some harsh words from him. Earlier, he accused me of having misplaced one of his files, and earlier of having changed his profile photo. Okay, weird. Ascending the abyss. 
Uh, I'm not gonna read that. Doesn't look interesting. There is no proof of any kind about an existing t hierarchy amongst the Tyriads. Certainly, there is a queen presiding over the fate of the community. But this power appears to exist without any real exercise of authority. Okay. Jack Lowell's codes. Ooh. We don't have him, I don't think. Do we? That's Luciani. Jack Lowell. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's finish looking at her secret files. I am forbidden as per regulation to publicly divulge what I know, but it does not stop me from making note of a few things here. I have never been through the door behind the tanks, however I must manage its computer and therefore precisely know of its contents. Well, at the risk of, re of belying rumors, I can confirm that they are neither missile silos, nor giant cold rooms, nor liquid nitrogen tanks where millions of viruses are kept. However, I'll confirm that there are experiments ongoing there that do not take place anywhere else. Tank number 7 is merely a biology lab, but tank number 8 contains equipment found nowhere else on the base. Some kind of incubator electronically linked to a central structure branched out like a tree. Like everyone else, I'm curious to see this with my own eyes. And we saw it. Okay. Uh, Lull's codes. Let's log in and see what secrets he has. Melker? Osikin? Melker. Why isn't this working? Oh. Three S's, weird. There we go. Okay, let's look at his personal file. Psychic disorders! <laughs> Being called to the advanced space is bad news despite the salary increase and the isolation premium. I think about that French uh, sepiologist who stayed in a cave 100 meters below the earth. We are in the same situation, cut off from the world, deprived of sunlight and its benefits, living ex reclusively in a cement cell with artificial light. Not surprising that the majority of my colleagues now suffer from psychological disorders, more or less serious, evolving from a simple depression to acute schizophrenia. I am no exception. Several weeks after starting at my post, I incurred a depressive episode that was maintained and has now become my natural state. I am haunted by dark thoughts, and suicide is a bitter temptation on many days. I write this note as a cry for help and as a warning. Do not accept to be transferred to the advanced base. Your health depends on it. Your psychic health. Report on the turnover of the last ten receptors. Let's... Let's look. A frighteningly thin young female drug addict. Let's look at 112. An important rumor preceded number 112. He was said to be very able and perfect candidate from the start, but under unappreciated by the team due to his surly personality and close bonds with Leah Nichols, the training coordinator. Not highly esteemed by Professor Zeitfeld, Ultimately, a quiet boy, a dreamer, who went through the doors as if he was running an errand. He appeared to evolve naturally within the environment and was able to easily breathe the deleterious, deleterious air of the Tyriot's world, whereas most receptors coughed and spit up their initial inhalations. We thought he would return, but to this day, there is no news from him. Theory on the background of Tyriot's and Oxaldines. It was difficult to gather the details of the historical crossing between the Tyriads and the Oxidines. In fact, the few Eden researchers uh, having worked on this are jealously quiet on the matter, and any related documents are difficult to access. I was able nonetheless, by deduction and aggregation, to generate the following chronology. For thousands of years, the Tyriads and Oxidine races, from the latter, uh, from the latter of which descend descend hu modern humans, lived on Earth in harmony, and one day the Oxidines conquered all power and expelled- what? Conquered all power? Weird. 
Uh, I guess that's mistranslation right there. And expel the Tyriads into the subterranean world. This unknown race continued to evolve unbeknownst to humans, who on their side lost all memory of their ancient neighbors. Only the members of the reminiscent Animesis, a secret brotherhood, maintained the history of the Tyriads that they sought to exterminate. For reasons unknown to me, a crisis ensued amongst the Tyriads, as reflected in the confrontations between various castes. One of our receptors appears to have played a role in the resolution of this conflict, Undou undoubtedly number 112. I know alas no more than this. Okay, secret files. Report on the turnover of 112 and his encounter with the Tyriads. When I met receptor 112, 10 days had already passed since he had gone through the doors. He appeared to be in good physical condition as opposed to his predecessors, all the receptors I had met previously suffered from migraines and respiratory problems from the start of their voyage, explaining why we are equipped with a small pharmacy. I therefore assumed that 112 had encountered communication tyriads to whom we teach the basics of human language. What? The encounter took place without any difficulty. The tyriads emitted an abundance of beta and delta pheromones, reflecting their high interest in this interlocutor. Uh, the latest news revealed that 112 would soon obtain audience with Queen Post Osikin X7. This is a great honor, as no member of base personnel had ever met the heiress to the Tyriad's throne. I wonder how 112 was granted such an honor. Linkage between 112 and Queen Post Osikin X7. Uh, harsh words were expressed by several laboratory supervisors, qualifying the repeated missions of test subjects into the Tyriad's world as a scientific arboration. This response appears to me inappropriate. Admittingly, 112 no longer has any contact with the scientific personnel, nor with Tyriad's informants, to the point where they groan upon broaching the subject. But his unexpected audience before Queen post Osikin X7, Supreme Leader of the Tyriads, may indicate that his disappearance was voluntary and not accidental. Personally, I think that 112 established some kind of pact with the Tyriads, or understanding, uh, which, the, which the content remains to us unknown. It remains judicious to re-establish contact with 112, rather than to confirm without proof of his disappearance. After all, he is our agent in the Tyriad's world, and his closeness with these creatures remains useful to us. Hang on, I need to drink some water that I have now run out of. Okay, it is difficult for the human mind to understand what a Tyriad's queen represents to her community. Not only is she the chief executive presiding over the destiny of her people, she is also the incarnation of the spirit and even the soul of the Tyriads, born from a distinct caste, the procreation of renewal. She is by nature and by profession a superior being, guaranteed to become a major player in the history of the race. If all queens are this remarkable, one of them in the future, post Osikin X7, is, according to the Tyriads, exceptional. So is she, the Tyriads, all hydralisks? Her characteristics, of course, cannot be translated into human concepts. However, she is characterized by what would be known as courage, will, patience, charisma, and above all, an exceptional tracts of land, uh, intelligence that allows her to manage the most difficult situations. It is by far an important figure amongst the... Tyriad's elite. The legend of the charm and the sight of convergence. Ooh, I think this is this is the charm that Leah has. Tyriads and her and their legends. Much like Aborigines traveling in the dream world, what? They give their stories the power to predict the future. Amongst the traditional tales confided in me, many have an initiative. In, uh, initiatory purpose and are rarely shared beyond the caste to which they belong. Two have struck me as special, the legend of the charm and the legend of the sight of convergence. The charm is a Tyriad's made object whose existence remains unverified. It is said to be made by gold, a goldsmith, 
by the queen herself, in fact. However, a human participated in its design. How could that have happened? They've been separate. The charms linked to the Tyriad's population is relatively obscure, composed of sp specific chemicals and vibrations, like a tuning fork vibrating to the ambient air. The charm responds to the presence of Tyriads, but also to any creature, animal, or vegeta vegetal. Vegetal, really? Is that actually a word, or is it supposed to be vegetable? From the subterranean world, it is, an, it is a hydroxide oxygen sensor, also able to secrete it. Ooh. Ooh. Is that why she could sense something about the creature? The site of convergence legend is very different. I retell it here as told by Milian, the communication Tyriads. Among us, it is written that the two ancient races, the Tyriads and the Oxidines, shall give birth to a third race, which shall be the source of eternal stability. Okay. They are to give birth to a third race. Does this mean there's going to be Tyriads and Oxaldine um, inter intercourse going on? I mean, very curious what what it's like banging a uh, hydralisk. I'm pretty sure there's some kind of rule 34 out there on it. I'm not tempted yet to look it up. Maybe in the future. I don't know. Anyway, a convergence site will allow for their linkage. As humans are known to be descendants of the Oxaldines, this tale appears to say that Tyriads and humans are destined to fuse together to create a new entity. Unbelievable. It's a great story in any case. Oh my god. 112 bang to the queen. The queen of the Tyriads. Um. Uh, secured official codes. Ooh. Ooh. More codes. Ah, uh, gimish. Video recording of 112's last moments. The moment has come to forsake the last object linking me to the human realm. I don't need this camera. I leave behind friends and family, and may they forgive me. I feel like from now on, my life is here. Oh my god, those Tyriads are just so hot. Um, so, I like that they, they uh, attach some dramatic music to this. Oh, was he letting them into the base? What was going on with that? Weird. Well, we got more codes. Gimish. And sigh. Wish I could just tab. No, makes me start over. Okay. Uh, G U. Oh, Gearnish. Jeez, it looks looks like G U I M. Probably intentional. Oh. Uh, crap, did we, I don't think I saw a sensitive file. Now I want to go back and look. That's that guy. Ooh. Files, files, show me your files. Nope, okay. Collaborators. Oh, we still have to do Edwards. Let's do hers real quick. Sensuality. Ooh. Montfleur's codes. Wow, she has everything. I hate that I am ignored. I can't stand leaving people indifferent. But when a lover becomes too invasive, floods my inbox with love letters, I may it makes me crazy. It irritates me. Poor Lise Montfleur 
uh, flower, Mont Flower, just found out how much it bothers me. Her only error was to have sought me out it's outside of our regular weekly meetings. And what was to happen happened. She surprised me in the arms of another man and made quite a scene calling me a woman of little virtue. I was angry for several days just for form and then we made up. But I've kept this secret boiling inside me until it grew into an act of vengeance. Don't hate me, Elise. If I reveal here, uh, je le en a voulu pendant quelques jours pour la forme du nu nu son recommer mal ja god. Okay, okay, I know I did like. I know I did like a year of French, but I, I'm so out of practice. Michael Lincoln. How can I have fallen for this brutal, sadistic, evil man with skills better honed to torture than to love making? I try to ignore it, but deep down I know I want him precisely because he dominates me, because he has no regard for me and treats me like a prostitute. The more scared I am, the more attracted I become. But even with his power over me, I can still see his faults and the characteristics that make him detestable to his colleagues. No one will blame me if I make use of my last line of defense against him, an exploit leak of information. Therefore, here is the access code to- Ooh! Order! Awesome. She- Okay, hang on. We're, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get to it. Okay. Uh, here is Melek's success? Drugs provided him with great relief and lessened his suffering. Alas, it has been a long time since drugs have provided me any pleasure. They satisfy only one need, my body's most pressing need. Withholding my doses even a few hours launches me into trances. I become irritable and aggressive. This dependency becomes stronger over time, much like Dr. Malik's hold on me. He is the one who, only one, who can provide me with the drug my body wants, and he knows how to take advantage. Uh, I must comply with his every fantasy, even the most sordid, and I often feel like his puppet on a string. I submit this advice to each and every one. Keep your distance from this man. No one will blame me for providing his confidential information. Okay. Aldo Luciani's. Wow. I don't know exactly how he came to me, since he is not at all my kind of man, but he has charm, presence, and a child's smile that suits him. Wow, she is all for that child's smile. He is very shy, especially before female colleagues. He waited six months before talking to me, and only after having spilled coffee on my dress by accident. People don't know what to make of him, but acknowledge his abilities for analysis and abstraction. He doesn't have many friends on the base, and this is unfortunate. Just in case, just in case, here's all his sensitive information. Dear Nancy, it is almost midnight and am I writing this letter from the control room? Currently deserted. Um. Oh. We already had that. Who, who was this? She wrote this to herself? Or he wrote that to her? Okay. That atmosphere of the Tyriad's world. Okay. Suicide, dear gods. Ranking of bases, sexiest men. Ranking of bases, sexiest women. Okay, uh, we got, we got, let's look at Malik. We already have him here. Let's see. We already have that. Okay. Back. <laughs> Back to Nancy. Oh my god. Cat just pooed. It's very smelly. Okay. A. Dot. Luciani. Can't tab, I try every time. Naya Lucy. <laughs> and Hope. 
Let's just get that out of the way. The sound of the generator in the background has been grating. Instability of main generator. Concerns about a forthcoming Tyriad invasion. Um. Yeah, we already saw that. Tyriad's door. We already saw that. Ah, Michael Lincoln's codes. Order. Yes, we have to do that. To obtain Nancy's favors. Concerns about the state of health of one uh, part of the advanced base. The doctor doesn't prescribe anything to us. Alright. Request for transfer. Concerns about alleged contacts between M. Lincoln and combat Tyriads. Worrisome presence of Tyriads at the edges of bases. Concerns on the last part. The language pack is a weapon. What? Be very curious. Oh, order. That's right. Almost got distracted. Order. The Spy, part two. For several months now, we have been systematically searching through all external correspondences of uh, base personnel, be they letters, emails, or telephone calls. We found a sudden increase in correspondence in September 1970, plus 137%, without any apparent causes. We thought that the spy informed that surveillance had been initiated, deliberately flooded the system with inane messages in order to send the right one uh, incognito. This was ingenious, since in fact only Major Leonard and I are qualified to undertake this task, and we have been unable to analyze all the documents transmitted during this time. It appears, however, that the French chef, Paul de Provence, has had the most correspondences. He has therefore become our prime suspect. Notes on uh, I. I still gotta do those. Where are they? Those others just did not work. Let's try it. We have this guy. Yeah, it just doesn't work. I think I'm entering the wrong thing, but that's what it's supposed to be. Anyway, let's get back to him. I'll try, try that again some other time. Nancy. Uh. A woman's place is in home. The rough camaraderie of the soldiers is affected. People watch their manners and their words because a woman could be listening. Not me. Thought I do, though I do recognize that a beautiful woman can nicely compliment any decor. If I had reserved, reserved opinion about the hiring of Nancy Edwards, it has since changed. Wild quest for pleasure, her availability to various men offers advantages, the first being the overall, overall well-being of the ship's male population. It is my practical sense that agrees to keep Nancy around and to take whatever pleasure from her you please, much like a coffee machine. I encourage the men who read this memo to meet her and provide the code to her sensitive files. Sensuality. How... How out asshole of him. Okay, Nialucci. Okay, we already have these. Gotta look at Girnish. Right? Bow locker thefts. Potential alliance with combat Tyriads. Base personnel. 
Leah Nichols, dominant if not authoritarian character with rich and unique personality on the straight and narrow in her tasks. Military authorities are currently studying her qualification, butchered that word, for a promotion in high ranking. Irreproachable morality. The spy. Uh, yes. We already know who it is. Oh, notes. Oh, this is, uh, this is it right here. Then, uh, pursuant to the recently released military... Okay, hang on. I need to drink some water. My throat. Oh, my God. All right. Pursuant to the recently released military documents, we can no longer ignore the threat from the reminiscent am anamnesis. I hope this isn't like I've already read it. Brotherhood on the security of base personnel in the entire Eden Project. The initial findings of the inquiry were a sectarian type organization with alarming propositions but with a restricted audience. We were provided with one of their confidential tracts. I suggest that humanity is rooted. Oh, it suggests that humanity is rooted in an ancient race, the Oxidines. I think I read this already. Rivals over the millennia with the Tyriads that were van vanquished in regular. Relic. <laughs> All right, we're we're gonna stop there. My throat can't handle anymore. Anyway, uh, next time we're gonna solve this. We've had you know some interesting things, a lot to read. We got to see a hydralisk. We got to to find out that Tyriads and humans are gonna create a third race. Exciting. Anyway, until next time. Listen. The infinite silence of the cosmos. Breathe.